Goya. We speak to the world. In the ancient times, we spoke to Goya. Not because he wanted to make them gay. No mitzvah to convert Goya, unless they come asking for it. But it certainly is a mitzvah to let the world know the truth. Hodiu Buami Mali Loisov make known among the nations his mighty deeds. And that's what they did in the days of old. And there were results. There were remarkable results. Even in the time of Shlem Amela, although he made a fatal error. But when he had one thousand wives, you have to understand. It was a demonstration. It was a recognition by all the kings that Shlema's words were having an effect on them. And they were happy to have their daughters marry, even though there were only one out of a thousand wives. Shlema was spreading the word. He was fulfilling the promise made a Yamsu, Zakele van Vehu. It was a glorious plan, only the method was too daring. Shlemy did it on his own, and he made an error. And therefore, by he, when Shlemy was old man, so the things began to happen in the other direction. These women who came from idolatrous peoples began to go back to the idol worship of their youth in their palaces all over Yerushalayim. It was a tragedy. Shlomo was already too old to supervise them. But the plan was a plan. At the times of the Choban by Shani, you must know that the practices of Yahadus, of Judaism, were widespread among the nations. It's remarkable how many people among the Gentiles were sympathetic to many Jewish mitzvahs and kept them. The wife of Nero, the emperor, her name was Poppea, was a very frum woman. She kept Judaism. She couldn't become a Gaius because it was dangerous. She'd lose her life in Rome. But it's openly known that Poppea kept Judaism, the emperor's wife. And later, when Nero disappeared from sight, although the Goyim say he was assassinated, but our Chachom say he ran away and he became a Gea. And I told you once, in the Encyclopedia of Britannica, they state that although Nero was assassinated, but still after his death, there were persistent reports that he was seen in different parts of Italy. And Achachom tells us the inside story. He became a Gea. Had they known he was alive, they would have assassinated him now. The Romans wouldn't stand for that. We know also that all over the Near East, very many practiced Jihadists without becoming Gaelic. Virgil. In the book of Virgil, a Roman book, in Latin, he was talking to a, an important Roman that he wanted to speak to. The Roman said, not today. It's the 33rd Sabbath. Now, Sabbath is only one Sabbath, the Jewish Sabbath. Now, the Mephoshim on Virgil tried to think, what does it mean, the 33rd Sabbath? Some say, Mijam Kippur, whatever it is. But it's remarkable. A prominent Roman said, I cannot see you today. It's the 33rd Sabbath. Now, our forefathers didn't keep quiet. Wherever they went, they carried aloft with pride the banner of Jehadus. 
Jewish businessmen, when they came to Chadayev, Chadayev was a near eastern country. It was called Adiyabene, Chadayev. They spoke to the king, and they spoke to the queen, and they made game out of them. <coughs> Izatis, the king of Hadaya became a Geir. He forsook the religion of his own countrymen. And Helene, his queen, became a Geiris and a very frum Geiris. The queen Helene undertook to be a nausea for seven years. For seven years, she kept her Naziris. Then she came to Yerushalayim to bring her Korbonus. And the Chacham said, I know she cannot be in Futzlaretz. Futzlaretz is like a cemetery. So she has to come to Yerushalayim and start all over again in seven years of Naziris. That's what she did. Everywhere, Yahadis was taking hold. But the Jewish people preached, they taught. In the times of the early Middle Ages, <coughs> there was a country called Kuzar. <coughs> the Kuzim were a warlike nation, a Tartar people in Asiatic Europe. And Jewish businessmen traveling through the land of the Kuzri spoke to the king and he became a gay, uh, a remarkable story. Well known fact, the male of the Kuzri was a gay. <coughs> and so our forefathers were proud of their mission. And they fulfilled it. Hodio Boami Mali Lesa, it was their Kele Vandeu. However, the Chachme HaTorah came later and they said, the Kele Vandeu as another meaning, not to contradict the first meaning, but an insight 